My name's uh, Colin Teagle. I'm Production Planning Director at Teagle Machinery Limited. Yeah, the company was started by my grandfather uh, back in 1943. Um, he was a farmer himself. Um, he started developing his own products for using on, his, on the farm to help him out. Uh, from there, other people were interested in, in, in the equipment and he gradually the, the business moved from farming um, through a transition into a into a, a farm machinery uh, manufacturing business. So the company's now been going for uh, 75 years. We export to 50 different countries and our, uh, currently our, we're ex our turnover is 45% uh, export. We've been using plasma cutters within the business for uh, probably over 20 years now. Um, it's, a, it's a core part of our, our, our business because we use a lot of components that are made from plate steel, so we like to, to stay ahead with the latest technology to get the benefits of the, the faster cutting and the improved accuracy of cut. My name's Ryan. I've been with the company for nearly 12 years. Um, started off on assembly line, building the machines, and then gradually moved over to the plasma sh shop. Um, been enjoying it ever since. We started on the, one of the older machines, um, quickly found that I enjoyed it and been interested in it and started moving up until I'm now on the, to the new XPR 300 series. And the machine, whereas before we would run at 130 amps on say 10 mil um, and 12 mil, now we can run at 170 amps so it cuts that more quicker, it gives you a better cut finish and a more flatter edge and less um, dross on the underside so it's less cleaning up for to make it a finished part, they're, pretty, they're coming off near enough ready to go off for welding, etc. So it's a lot less of a labour process to get a finished part off of the machine. With the older touchscreen machines, we had to remove our gloves because they weren't quite very well touch sensitive, um, which isn't a great deal in itself. But when you've got to keep removing gloves, putting them back on, it does take up a bit of time when you could be doing other things like removing smaller parts and trying to catch them. Um, because it's more touch sensitive, we can now keep our gloves on and it will still be responsive. Um, yeah, I can't fault the interface on it at all at the moment. We can save a lot of time with changing consumables out because whereas before you had to have your tool to undo them and it, you, um, you could have to unscrew everything. Now everything's pretty much quick release, so with, you can change your torch, all your consumables inside the torch within a few moments, um, which saves a lot of time. I'm Richard Escott. I work for Teagle Machinery in the uh, plasma department. I've been here for 16 plus years now. I um, started off as a plasma operator. Um, Back in the days when we had a Hypothermax 100, we had four machines when I started, um, and now onto the XPRs. The main benefit we've had with the XPR is the um, uh, 170 amp process. Um, that's helped us um, cut our thicker material a lot, a lot quicker from, from 10 mil up. We also have um, a few jobs that we outsourced previously that with the new technology, hopefully we can bring in-house. We're currently looking at um, cutting some 40 mil sprockets um, which we previously outsourced, um, but we're gonna, gonna give it a try with the 300 amp process and um, see how we get on. But we're pretty confident that we'll, we'll get a good job out of it. I recommend the HPR 300 as the utility in it is pretty, does everything you need it to. It can do, do all of the small thin stuff all the way up to the thick heavy stuff. Um, and it doesn't give you any fuss or bother. You know, the maintenance is really easy on it. Haven't had any issues yet no, so far with it. Um, and the minor issues that we have had is Spree has been really good with our customer services and sorting things out through the whole range of the amperages all the way through the thickness of steel. It's one of the, probably the best machine out there at the, on the market at the minute for mainstream production. Mm -hmm. 